After school, Hanabi reminisces about the good times with Narumi, her childhood friend who she saw as a brother and grew up liking but became her homeroom teacher. She becomes embarrassed when he spots her and they correct their formalities to each other as student and teacher instead of childhood friends. Just then, Narumi's co-teacher Akane arrives and he flusters as she returns his belongings. Jealous, Hanabi leaves and bumps into Mugi, her boyfriend who likes Akane. Hanabi and Mugi are in a relationship despite liking their teachers, so they use each other as substitutes for their unrequited love. Back then, Hanabi knew Narumi had his first day of work as a teacher in her school, but she was ecstatic to find that he coincidentally became her homeroom teacher. However, her jealousy rose ever since she learned that he was into Akane. That night, he eats at their place and compliments her mother's cooking. But Hanabi is frustrated about feeling good about his visit, since she knows it means nothing to him. Walking him home, she notices how he hasn't recently mentioned his hope for a great wife, making her wonder whether he's already found the one. Back in junior high, Hanabi's opponents flamed her for competing with Narumi instead of a parent, deeming it unfair. Still, he comforted her with her mother's homemade lunch, and he claimed they could be there for each other whenever they were lonely. Back in the present, Hanabi cries recalling his lie. During June, she heard students admiring Akane's beauty, anjuring her as she bumped into Akane who dropped her papers. Hanabi observed her features, her jealousy rising before Mugi appeared to help Akane and reminded her to address him as a student. Later, as they watched Akane and Narumi together, Mugi revealed Akane was his tutor, leaving Hanabi confused about what was special about her. As time passed, they spent more time together until one day, Hanabi hugged Mugi while hanging out at his place. Both hopeless with their unreciprocated love, Mugi suggested she imagine he's Narumi, and she agreed knowing she was just his substitute for Akane. Upon having her first kiss with him, Hanabi felt excited and wanted more, and they continued making out until Narumi texted, saddening her into Mugi, suggesting they stop for now. The next month, Hanabi rejected a student who liked her as she couldn't let go of seeing Narumi through Mugi. She ended up visiting him again, and after making out, they agreed to claim to be in a relationship to depend on each other without falling in love with one another. However, if either of them starts dating their true love, their pact will immediately end. With this, Hanabi let him have every bit of her except her feelings. The next day at school, Mugi clarified that they aren't friends with benefits as they haven't engaged in copulation yet, and Hanabi is hopeful for them to soon make their scum's wish come true. After school, Setting invites Hanabi to walk home, but Hanabi already planned to go with Mugi. As they leave, Mugi's friends envy their relationship. Walking home, Mugi tries to kiss Hanabi, but Mariko, his childhood crush, interrupts. The girls recognize each other from a past competition, and Noriko questions Mugi's feelings, making the couple express appreciation for each other. Hanabi then warns her not to hold on to things that aren't hers. The next day, Mugi criticizes her harshness, so she suggests he reject her straightforwardly, also clarifying her possessiveness as they kiss. Meanwhile, Noriko struggles with her commute, wishing to see Mugi but hating picturing a different version of him. The next day during lunch, Mugi gives Noriko her favorite bread, leading to a tight hug. However, her jealousy makes her snatch the food Hanabi offers him, resulting in Hanabi threatening her to join their lunch date. From afar, Sanning overhears Noriko angrily calling Hanabi a user and flees, raising her curiosity. Later, Hanabi does a rans with Narumi and flusters, realizing they're alone. So she plans to make a move to make him see her as a woman, however, they hear Akane playing piano in the other room. Narumi praises Akane, so Hanabi vents her frustration on karaoke with Mugi, who claims there are many attractive guys other than Narumi. Hanabi cries defending him, and Mugi understands her pain. Despite the pain, he cherishes his good times with Akane, and they make out, each imagining the other as their true love. Guilt plagues Mugi, as he prefers Akane's anger instead. The next day, Sane worries whether Noriko's claim of Hanabi using Mugi is the other way around. At school, Hanabi greets her, breathless as if she woke up late and rushed. Later, other girls ask Hanabi for romance advice which Mugi supports since she doesn't have many female friends. She assumes he'll kiss her, but when he tussles her head, she's confused about feeling like he's truly her boyfriend. After school, the girls reveal that Ayumi's childhood friend soon became her boyfriend, but when he cheated on her, she refused to give up. Her senior witnessed everything, and she noticed his kindness, eventually dating both him and Hiro simultaneously. Ayumi claims she can't choose who she likes more, confusing Hanabi knowing she and Mugi would always choose Akane and Narumi. Learning Ayumi's fear of making the wrong decision, Hanabi can't believe their immaturity. The following day, she wonders why Sane fell for her crush, and Sane clarifies she didn't get interested just because they fit her needs, resulting in Hanabi hugging her as she feels the same. Hanabi then invites her for a sleepover, and that night, while Sane gets her things ready, she flusters assuming they'll sleep together because she's in love with her. 
The next day, she arrives at Hanabi's place, feeling grateful that she can get close to her since they're both girls. However, she ends up kissing her, shocking Hanabi, as she immediately regrets her actions. Sene recalls when Hanabi helped her escape a man inappropriately touching her on the train. Though she tried to keep her composure, Hanabi assured her that her fear was okay, and they held hands until they arrived at the venue. Ever since Sane deemed Hanabi her first love, earlier that day they bonded with pajamas and stuffed toys, with Sane realizing she was never interested in loving men because she was attracted to women. That night, Hanabi shared Ayumi's story of struggling to pick who she likes, claiming she'll soon end up alone with that mindset. Heading to bed, Sane becomes nervous lying so close to her, and Hanabi requests to know more about her crush. Unable to resist, Sane kisses her and questions why she's pretending to like Mugi, crying to reveal she's observed them. So Hanabi confesses being with him because of her unrequited love, making Sane assert that she can offer comfort too. The next morning, Hanabi's mother notices her unusualness ever since Sane left, and walking to the store, she discovers the weight of being desired. As Noriko passes by, Noriko urges her to give Mugi to her instead, but Hanabi doesn't notice her due to her thoughts. Later on, she observes her similarity to Ayumi and realizes she's no better. Four years ago, Mugi's schoolmate Mei, the crush of many boys in school, became interested in him. When they made love, he saw how lonely she was, but her body didn't feel real, eventually making him scared. Mugi awakes to cringe at his morning glory before jolting to find Hanabi in his room. When she lies beside him, he hugs her to avoid getting caught, but she notices anyway, prompting him to suggest she touch it. However, he recalls when Mei bid farewell knowing he's into Akane, also grateful that no one learned about their secret, making him stop Hanabi because he won't be able to resist. Still, she allows him, so he teaches her how to touch him. Hanabi finds his reactions cute, however, she's confused about why she refused to touch Same. Afterward, she opens her comfortableness around Mugi, eventually crying and desiring to attempt to love him. That night, while they dine out, Mugi apologizes for messing up her clothes when Akane arrives with a young man who shortly kisses her. As they leave, she requests they both keep it a secret, frustrating Hanabi. The next morning, Hanabi observes Akane's fakeness for Narumi and Mugi recognizes the boy she was with last night as one of the students she used to tutor. Still, he assumes no malice is naiveness irritating Hanabi as she learns her developing hatred for Akane. So she asks Akane if the boy is her boyfriend, which she denies, confusing her as to why it has to be a secret. Hanabi wonders if she's found out about her and Mugi's true love, but when Akane rushes to class, she observes how she's wearing the same clothes from last night. Akane always liked the attention from being desired. Recalling when her friend was interested in a guy who courted her, it somehow bothered her to accept his feelings despite not being interested in him. Seeing her friend cry afterward, she didn't feel guilt and only thought about never wanting to get exploited like her friend. After making love with Teriyochi, Akane ponders her inability to love anyone other than herself, and as he kisses her, she suddenly feels the want to stop. The next day, while with Narumi, she notices Hanabi watching from afar and observes how much she likes him. When Narumi invites her to talk after school, she realizes his plan to confess and suggests they talk in the music room before Hanabi approaches, as Akane had been waiting a while already for her to put her guard down. Having never been interested in Narumi, seeing Hanabi's love for him made her get closer, as she enjoyed seeing her hurt expression. So Akane invites her to talk in the music room as well, becoming excited to make her miserable again. After school, Narumi waits in the music room and recalls when he saw a resemblance of his deceased mother's long-haired Akane's, ultimately falling in love at first sight. He couldn't believe a woman like her existed, so he believed that their encounter was fate. When Akane arrives, Narumi finally confesses his feelings, satisfying her to see Hanabi's pained expression upon arriving. Afterward, Hanabi breaks down in the language room, but the tears don't fall as she has no right to cry. She dreads their relationship and regrets not confessing sooner, so she heads to Mugi's place to share the news. However, she realizes it's wrong to hurt him for her comfort and goes home. Outside, Sani observes how it's unusual that she isn't going to Mugi, also confessing she followed her. Guilty, Hanabi apologizes for not noticing her love sooner with a hug, and despite knowing the consequences of her actions, Sani kisses her. At Hanabi's place, Hanabi lets her make love to avoid losing her, so Sani takes advantage of her chance to amend all the pain she caused her. Hanabi tries to imagine kissing Narumi, but all of her attempts fail, though she feels good about Sane's touch. They continue making out, and Hanabi eventually gets to repay by using Sane. Falling asleep afterward, she realizes she took advantage of someone's feelings, just like Akane, and finally learns that Akane is purposely hurting her. So Hanabi plans to change by any means necessary. The next day, she confronts Akane in the music room after school who reveals knowing about her and Mugi's feelings, 
Her mentioning of Mugi using someone else to cope annoys Hanabi as she confidently comments how she's the one both he and Narumi love. Hanabi wonders why she's so excited to be loved by people she doesn't even like. Still, Akane claims that it's the best feeling in the world. When Hanabi was younger, she never let her mother see her crying as she promised not to cry. Even when her father left, she didn't shed a tear, but Narumi became the light of her world to whom she could express her emotions, leaving her confused as to why he was now leaving her. When she and Sane wake the next morning, Hanabi catches a glimpse of Akane and Sane as they greet each other a good morning. Meanwhile, Mugi, aware of Akane's schemes, refuses to reveal them to Hanabi since she might hate him, causing his laughter. He recalls when May revealed Akane's habits that led him to cry all night, and when Akane arrived the next day wearing the same clothes, he realized her inability to live without a man. Still, her subtle flirting made him fall for her more. Mugi meets up with May to aid his troubles, and the two go to a motel to make love. Afterward, she goes home without sleeping over. The next day as Hanabi and Mugi hang out on the school rooftop, Hanabi observes their closeness, but ever since they stopped spending a lot of time together, they don't share much anymore. Still, she's okay with it since Sane is her new replacement until they end up kissing each other. They confess to sleeping with someone else and Hanabi cries as she can't resist the pleasure despite the pain. After school, Akane slumps in the music room when Narumi arrives, making her desire freedom. Hanabi and Mugi continue making out at Mugi's place, with Hanabi getting embarrassed after not visiting for a while. Her stare disgustingly turns Mugi on until she suggests engaging in copulation. Meanwhile, Akane realizes Narumi came to hear her answer about his confession, so she invites him to hang out tonight, fed up with her habits. That night, Akane gets tipsy from drinking to aid her anger from his boringness. Narumi's refusal to drink annoys her into leaving, but her tipsiness causes her to stumble and fall into his arms. When he accidentally calls her Hanabi, Akane's excitement sparks as she kisses him. While Hanabi and Mugi make out, she requests him to do everything he wants despite their rules, so he does. Meanwhile, Narumi and Akane end up at a motel where he asks permission to touch her, so she feigns jealousy toward his closeness with Hanabi, easily manipulating him into kissing her. Just before Mugi can continue, Hanabi stops him due to the pain. Frustrated as to why they can't make love, Mugi claims it's because she doesn't truly love him and she gets up to get dressed and leave, making him ask whether she's sure about dating him for real. Hanabi confirms she hasn't experienced making love yet and she ends up alone in her room, longing to sleep with someone. The next morning in school, Hanabi deems herself weak when she encounters Akane in the hallway, whispering she made love with Narumi last night. Realizing Akane is stealing everything despite not wanting them, Hanabi decides to take everything from her to beat her, even if it means hurting others and feeling empty. Still, she cries in frustration from her selfishness. The next day, Hanabi and Mugi agree to a date and share a kiss. After school, she tells Sane about their relationship, not wanting to take advantage of her friend anymore. Sane, however, kisses her, prompting Hanabi to push her away and say they should be alone, fleeing in tears. Running away, Hanabi fears Sane's gaze, but Sane refuses to let her go. The next day, Hanabi, suffering from a headache, goes to the library with a classmate. Upon noticing them, Sane joins them with Hanabi, assuming she's trying to act normal only until she subtly touches her under the table. Still, Hanabi allows it as it's the consequence of using her. Later, Hanabi wakes with a fever in the clinic as Sane kisses her. Sane wonders if she truly dated Mugi to catch Narumi's attention, and as she'll always accept Hanabi no matter what she does, she suggests hiding her true feelings to be the only one who knows her true self. Suddenly, Hanabi feels that Akane would say the same thing, but she senses sadness from Sana's words, making her wonder whether everyone is lonely, including Akane. The next morning, Hanabi encounters Takia, the man Akane was with at the diner while buying groceries. Disgusted by his touch but remembering he's Akane's possession, she treats him kindly. The next day, while waiting for Takuya after school, Hanabi recalls denying a relationship and how it led him to suggest they hang out. They enjoy karaoke, and when he hints at kissing her, she asks about Akane, to which he claims he's just one of her many men. To be Akane, Hanabi wonders if Takuya would love her despite her V-card and lets him kiss her. She feels empty but hides it when Takuya suggests going to a motel, saying feelings can be handled after making love. Through all the times she replaced Mugi with Narumi, Hanabi realizes her unnoticed desire for Mugi, so she stops him from going further. Thinking of Akane's reaction, Hanabi tugs Takuya back and confesses her fear, prompting him to take things slow. At home, Hanabi reflects on her and Akane's differing self-worth and tears up upon seeing Narumi. In her sleep, she recalls Narumi comforting her about her broken family, promising they'd never fall apart since there'd be no romance, waking her in tears. 
At school, Sani tells Mugi about Hanabi's popularity with boys, making him worry that she's cheating. When Hanabi declines his after-school hangout invitation, he suspects she's hiding something. At home, Noriko arrives, even Hanabi uninterested in him and stressing about why he doesn't choose her. So Mugi invites Noriko on a date, and she accepts because she loves him. That night, Takuya requests to see Hanabi, but she declines, longing for summer vacation to start. Junior high was the only time Noriko went on a date with a boy, however. It mean everything to her to go with Mugi. All she could think about was him, so the date seemed like they were just pretending. Noriko wakes feeling guilty and elegantly prepares breakfast, but her messy father's arrival annoys her into pushing him out. She prepares the best look she can, intending to bond with Mugi for herself instead of finding a replacement. Hanabi also goes on a date with Takuya, who snatches her phone manipulating her into pushing herself against him. She walks out annoyed with him proposing to make up at a motel, while teasing what he wants to do to her. Hanabi thought they'd take things slow when he suddenly left for a girl he could make love with. Noriko enjoys watching a movie with Mugi, but upon noticing they're alone, she struggles to focus due to their closeness. She wonders if unrequited love is only sadness, eventually holding his hand and crying over the lack of a happy ending. Afterward, she's relieved Mugi enjoyed the movie and ponders his reaction to his hand being held earlier as he suggests they eat first. That night, Hanabi recalls futilely typing to Kyuya to stay, realizing he didn't fall for her and only desired her body. She longs to be desired to feel worthy but questions her cruelty and cries, wanting to meet Mugi who doesn't answer as he's with Noriko. After eating, Noriko forces a smile and thanks Mugi for the date. However, he pulls her back, knowing she didn't even look at him during it. When she expresses gratitude for their memories and confesses her love, he kisses her. At home, Hanabi can't find anyone to meet. Meanwhile, Noriko lies in Mugi's room, revealing their date felt lacking despite being fun. She recalls longing to marry Mugi every day when they were children and his persistent refusal, which made her cry. He assured her they wouldn't break up to stop her tears presently making her realize she'd grown up receiving princess treatment. But Noriko's mind tells her to stop if she truly loves him, she proceeds to make out with Mugi, who can't resist finding her cute. He gently removes her clothes to make love, but he stops, refusing to tarnish her. Still, Noriko cries, requesting her only want to be touched by him, and she learns that the only reason she can't let go of Mugi is because he's something she cherishes. With this, she doesn't want it anymore. The next day, Hanabi and Mugi meet at the park unplanned, with Hanabi assuming they both finally want to talk. She proposes they confess to Akane and Narumi before the summer vacation ends and Mugi agrees. After they're rejected, they plan to truly start dating, and Hanabi feels relieved to finally be able to talk about it. Then Mugi adds that they have nothing to lose anyway, making her laugh and deem themselves cowards. During summer vacation, Hanabi stresses about homework with Mugi, eager to finish early to focus on entrance exams. Mugi plans to confess his love to Akane afterward, prompting Hanabi to do the same with Narumi. At the station, Atsuya is invited to be a hair model but declines as Sane rushes to meet him. They attend prep school together and Atsuya blushes at her beauty. They reconnected six years ago at a relative's funeral, where Atsuya noticed her uniqueness and requested to date her despite being cousins, receiving a slap of disgust in response. After prep school, they dine together, and although Atsuya knows Sane likes someone else, he persists. Sane reveals her crush as a girl, but he insists gender doesn't matter and believes he still has a chance. While making out, Mugi confides in Hanabi about his fear of Akane's response to his confession. Hanabi suggests he imagine she's Akane, but Mugi realizes he can't anymore, they both await the outcome of their confessions. Walking home, Hanabi observes she stopped imagining Mugi as Narumi and decides to go with the flow, along with Senai and Noriko. At home, Narumi texts her, prompting Hanabi to scroll through his pictures and recall the cherished memory when he became a teacher and requested to hold hands to go home just like when she got lost. She treasures these moments and arranges to meet him on the weekend, assuring herself she's loved enough. Meanwhile, Mugi does the same with Akane. The next day, Mugi and Hanabi finish their homework, both feeling encouraged to confess since they have each other to lean on. Mugi suggests meeting again after confessing and Hanabi wonders why she's struggling to look directly at him until he hugs her, making her fluster. Later, she's confused about her feelings but doesn't dislike it, thinking she may be able to move on. Hanabi wakes the next morning after dreaming of holding hands with an unrevealed person. Mugi meets with Akane, prepared to get rejected, but observing how she's still showing her fake personality. It first goes to a cafe where she mentions his tan from summer, making him wonder about her tastes in men before suddenly confessing his love. Mugi clarifies he doesn't anymore, and when Akane claims to like him, he reveals his awareness of her schemes. She persists, and they end up at a motel where he deems her a horrible woman who can't live without being loved. Still, he's there because he wants to be the first one to change her. 
Hanabi also meets Narumi and confesses, shocking him since he never noticed as she cries revealing she's liked him for a long time already. She loves everything about him when he hugs her, making her cry harder and realize it's the only time he'll hold her closely. Hanabi is thankful to be important to him even if it's not romantically, and finally her unrequited love ends, leaving her hopeful for change because she's not alone. The next morning, Hanabi cries over Narumi and is confused about why Mugi texted an apology instead of meeting her as planned, thinking he's foolish for falling for Akane's tricks. Sena then invites her to a summer resort to distract her, holding her hand on the way. Hanabi decides to keep her mind busy, while Sane feels grateful she came. Upon arrival at Sane's relative's vacation home, she claims they'll be alone, making Hanabi tense until Asuya answers the door. That night, Hanabi feels awkward during dinner and bathes while Sane and Asuya clean up. Sane is annoyed at Asuya for ruining their alone time, and when he tries to kiss her, she attacks him with a sponge, while Hanabi hears the commotion. Still, Asuya claims Hanabi won't fall for her and calls her weak for ending things that way, upsetting Sane into storming to their room. Later, she kisses Hanabi and initiates lovemaking, telling her to be quiet so Asuya won't hear from the other room. However, she's frustrated about why she can't control how things end. The next morning, Hanabi notices a notebook and she finds a train ticket and candy wrapper inside, realizing it's the candy she gave Sana when they first met. Upon encountering Asuya outside, he invites her for a walk and suggests she be clear with her feelings for Sane, because Sane shouldn't be used as a substitute. Pondering about it, Hanabi claims he's right as they continue enjoying the trip, with her also noticing how happy Sane is. After shopping, Sane kisses her by the park and despite recalling Atsuya's words, she genuinely kisses her back for the last time. They return to the house to find Atsuya sick while playing games, and he fiends going upstairs for a nap to let Hanabi confess her true feelings. As the girls enjoy the video game, Hanabi accidentally mentions how she'd always play with Narumi, making Sane realize he's the one she loves. Holding back tears, Sane hugs her tightly, apologizing for forcing her to spend time together and feeling thankful. Hanabi cries that she was the selfish one for taking advantage of her, but Sane has already decided to let her go and suggests going home separately tomorrow. Later on, Hanabi approaches Sane out in the rain and pleads to stay as friends, making her lash out and call her cruel. Still, Hanabi promises to wait until she can open up her shut-up feelings as Sane hugs and kisses her, with both promising to forget everything. The next morning, Hanabi goes home early and Atsuya commends Sane's bravery, prompting her to try trusting him. After summer, Hanabi attends school feeling lonely due to the pain she's feeling. During lunch, Noriko notices her glumness teasing her for getting rejected, leading to an argument. She also reminds her that things can be good even if she's alone, making Hanabi realize she'd never thought about standing on her own. Meanwhile, Akane visits Mugi to make love with him. As Akane and Mugi make love, Mugi feels pathetic for falling once again. Akane's first experience in lovemaking was in high school with a boy everybody admired who was already experienced. Ever since she longed to make every girl jealous and play with their feelings because that's all she knew to do. Akane wakes the next morning beside Mugi and asks whether she's boring, prompting him to panic denying it before kissing him. She deems him dumb for believing her, and when he invites her on a date, she refuses since it's Narumi's day, intending to hurt him. At school, Mugi feels crazy about Akane's actions, so he meets her in the student counseling room after school to prohibit her from going out with Narumi. However, her flirting irritates him into kissing her. In that moment, Mugi realizes he's scared to be hated by the person he loves. He claims to hate her, but it doesn't work, making him learn she never falls for anyone or chases them, and is lonely. Finally, he admits to being a fool. The next day, Akane meets Narumi, and as they enjoy looking at aquariums, she assures that they can go somewhere he wants instead of considering her. Akane observes how they've gone on multiple dates and later on she grows annoyed about why they aren't in a motel yet. She also finds it weird that although they already made love, Narumi doesn't desire to do it again and acts normal on their dates. Eventually, she gets fed up with him, feeling apologetic to Hanabi. Meanwhile, Hanabi returns to the classroom to retrieve her phone and notices Narumi's desk, but she refrains from touching it like before. After their date, Narumi and Akane claim they had fun, and before Akane can talk, Takuya spots her and deems her a hooker. His friend scolds him for his rudeness, and as Akane has been annoying since earlier, she feels like punching him and insulting his behavior, but she doesn't, as it doesn't match her character. Takuya warns Narumi to be cautious with Akane's relationships with other men before fleeing, so she admits her dirtiness for sleeping with many men and decides it's their last date. Hoping to finally end things, however, Narumi pulls her back and allows her to stay as she is, shocking her. She accidentally confirms it isn't their last date and later bathes with Mugi, realizing it's the first time she couldn't let go of a man. 
Mugi confesses he dislikes her sleeping with other men out of jealousy, so she confides that she'd be upset if a man loves someone else, revealing her immaturity. Afterward, Mugi understands that his true love will never reciprocate and feels guilty for using Noriko. He also learns that changing others starts with changing himself, so he chooses not to rely on Hanabi anymore. That night, he persists in asking Akane out, and she initially refuses, but when he expresses his feelings, becoming excited, she finally agrees. Akane made a condition that she and Narumi would go out only if they slept together again while having plans to go out with Mugi next week. She recalls when her past man was furious to find out she slept with someone else and wonders if she crossed the line there, but she seems unable to feel normal emotions due to her disconnection with everything. Still, Narumi deems her unsuited for it, before she wakes up beside him on the train, almost at their destination. Akane then feels that their outing is like a honeymoon, making him fluster as he falls for her joke again. Hanabi meets with Mido and Ayumi who notice she's no longer with Mugi, irritating her as she intended to give them advice not discuss her relationship. Everyone thought Hanabi and Mugi were a good couple and asked what happened, so she revealed they hadn't met since summer vacation, which she feels is for the better. They compliment her maturity meanwhile, Narumi deems Akane easy to get along with. As she has stopped fake acting around him, she hopes to learn what their relationship is and suggests they rest first, but this embarrasses him into rushing outside to get her water. So she recalls how everything started when they drank and got intoxicated. Later, while bathing, Narumi admires the sky, amazed to be on a trip with Akane. He accidentally shatters his glasses and struggles to return to their room with blurry vision, but upon arrival, he's mesmerized by Akane's beauty. As they drink, Narumi assures that it's okay for her to cheat because she likes it, shocking her into asking how it feels for him and asserting that he shouldn't like it. Still, he loves her, confusing Akane about his ability to love unconditionally as he hugs her, only wishing her happiness. Narumi is afraid to want more because he might lose control and hurt the person he loves and when they kiss, Akane finally feels connected. The next morning, they awake with a hangover and Narumi suddenly proposes to her. Akane accepts, stunning him with joy as they hug with her wanting to make sure it's not an illusion. The next week, Akane meets Mugi for their date which Mugi assumes will be their first and last. Akane enjoys gazing at the view and Mugi recalls catching a glimpse of her true self, which she claimed to love her teaching job since she'd only be remembered as a teacher. He realizes she needs an attachment to aid her boredom, and when they dine, he opens up about wanting to try new things because it feels free. Before Mugi can speak, Akane smiles, revealing she's getting married and trying to change, making him observe how she's finally standing on her own and says congratulations. After their date, they bid farewell and Mugi cries, learning he loved her weak self, shouting that he'll never forget her. Akane then expresses gratitude while Mugi finally lets her go. During autumn, Hanabi buys a warm drink when Mido approaches to request that she help lift the band club's heavy equipment for the school festival. Recalling when Mugi encouraged her to try things, she accepts happily until she spots Mugi. Before school started, Narumi shared the news of his and Akane's wedding with Hanabi, and as they walked home, she learned that Mugi didn't get what he wanted. Also noticing he wasn't wearing glasses anymore, she assumed Akane made him wear contact lenses instead and giggled, hiding the pain of his appearance reminding her of his old self. Hanabi then promised to attend their wedding. At the school festival, Hanabi's class prepares final arrangements for their stage and Hanabi spots Ayumi meeting her boyfriend, wondering who she wants to be with. Later, she enters a fashion show where Noriko shocks everyone with her beauty, making Hanabi observe Noriko's glow after focusing on herself. Hanabi accidentally returns to the stage late and is scolded as everyone hectically organizes the equipment. Afterward, she moves some boxes to the storage room and finds no one there, so she rests and feels content with being alone, eventually wondering why she and Mugi made their pact. She realizes she dozed off moments later when Mugi suddenly wakes behind her, both of them stunning each other while Hanabi questions why they ever met. During spring, students prepare their classrooms for Narumi and Akane's wedding celebration, with Hanabi complaining about the heavy work. A classmate scolds her and orders her to return the tools to the back, and another classmate helps her, introducing himself as Isamu. After returning the equipment, Isamu asks about her and Mugi, knowing he hasn't seen them together recently. He tries to ask her out, but Sane arrives, claiming Hanabi is hers, which stops him. Dragged away by Sane, Hanabi apologizes but thanks him, making him blush. Afterward, Sane clarifies she was only pretending and understands Hanabi needs space, which makes her cry from her kindness. Hanabi thought they'd never talk again and noticed Sane cut her hair short, prompting Sane to recall how she once complimented it. Later, everyone congratulates Akane and Narumi's marriage with gifts while Ayumi and Mido become jealous learning that Hanabi will attend their wedding. Akane receives flowers and when Narumi spots Hanabi, 
Akane stops him to hand her a flower instead, claiming it's a bouquet toss. Akane reminds her to not let her next man get stolen, shortly irritating her. After school, Hanabi realizes that everything she did with Mugi now means nothing, but she wonders if they can still make a new contract. During a school festival, he revealed that Akane changed and Hanabi finally said out loud her acceptance of Meromi's decision despite hurting her. They commend each other's efforts, and for the first time, Hanabi found that they connected with words instead of intimacy. She's glad to have met Mugi, and the two continue life still seeking true love, with both letting each other go.